Hey, and welcome to this tutorial about CSV uploads in Bubble. In this tutorial, it's mainly a beginner's type of tutorial uh, for someone who has never worked with the upload, modify, export, and these types of things with their database. Not necessarily for someone with advanced use cases, uh, but this will be enough to get you going, uh, especially if you're at a point where you're trying to get data into your database so you can actually start to test things. So in this video, what you're gonna see is one data type, get all of the data uploaded, um, but you're gonna wanna do this for all of the different data types that you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a second data type in this one, and we're gonna say car, the car data type. And I'm gonna make it so that users um, can have a car. And then maybe car has a, uh, model and a year and why not a color and then for the users themselves uh, I'm going to give them what should I give them first name and I'm doing this from scratch so that uh, anyone who is not familiar with this process can uh, see, you know, there, there'll be no pieces missing in your knowledge bank. Um, and we're going to do a few other things because I'd like to show off what it looks like to upload a list for anyone interested in that. So then we'll call this interest tag list. And this is a list of texts. And then what else about these folks? Um, we'll give them a photo. And okay, that should be enough to get things rolling. Now, uh, I'm gonna start off with a blank sheet here and I'll just call this my user list. And I'll start out by copying over those same names, that I, or same fields rather. Uh, that I did. Let's take a look here. I'm going to need to cheat a little bit. And so this would be the same process to use across, let's see, first name, last name, photo. Email, first name, last name, photo. Okay. And I've got this handy dandy uh, random user generator. Uh, I'm going to use some photos from this one and I'm just going to check out the URL structure for these ones. Okay, so it looks like it just changes. So I'll start with one. And you can see here that this file now, if you actually wanted to get real file stuff into your system, um, you're gonna need to upload those and get access to the URL. So just um, upload them and do it in a way where the URLs are, uh, it's like structured and sequenced so that it's just, you know, always the same one so that you can easily duplicate it over in a CSV. And then you can do that to get it into the actual field itself. So let's see if it's smart enough. Nope, not, not smart enough. Okay, so it uh, looks like we'll be uploading nine users. And then I actually have some sample user data to use for the rest of this that I'm gonna just copy and paste over from here. Although I'm gonna leave some of it off because I'm gonna do two uploads because what I wanna show off is I wanna show off uploading stuff from scratch, but then I also wanna show off what happens when you go and modify things. So this is what we're gonna use for our starting data. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just download this as a CSV file. Cool.
Okay, so next up, um, what I'm going to do is, so we don't have any car data related to this yet, but we'll get there. And we're actually going to do, yeah, a number of different uploads because what the, again, the purpose of this video is to show someone how they can, uh, you know, when someone's building an app, uh, you know, there's all of the different data that you know that you're going to need to have and end, uh, end up in your app so that you can actually display something on the front end of it um, instead of just getting blank repeating groups, right? So next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick a file to upload. And it's user. And then I'm going to map the fields. That actually doesn't need anything done with it. And so your data is ready for upload. And now this is obviously uh, nothing super special when we only have nine. Uh, and as you see here, uh, what you want to do prior to upload actually is to go ahead and upgrade your account if you haven't already. Um, so that means there are two types of folks who are looking at this. Someone who has already kind of committed to this world of building an app and um, you know, you're taking the next step to get your data into here. So that's awesome. And we're going to continue to see how we can do that. And then for folks who are exploring for the first time and were curious on how to use this upload feature, um, the criteria to use to determine if this is something that you would want to pay for would be, I mean, if you're making more than uh, $10 an hour, it's $30. That's uh, three hours of your time doing some other income earning activity to be able to give yourself a shot at um, seeing if this app um, is something that you would want to continue to pursue, uh, depending on where you are at in your app journey. Um, if you really believe in your idea, go for it, do it. Uh, I I would, uh, you know, uh, and and those other folks watching would be with you on that. If so, if you were in that situation, um, just go for it. Uh, you'll you'll be glad you did. So let's go ahead and get the let's go ahead and get this user uh, upload set up here. Whoop. Okay. So we've got that. Uh, going to do a refresh quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this upload for the user type on our file. So we can see everything maps out nicely. We'll validate that and then we'll click upload and then we'll see all of our users added to the database. Cool. Great. Now, one thing I want to show off quickly, what we're going to do is you've been able to see using this upload button. Next up, we're going to look at modifying records that you already have in the database. So that's maybe you came here uh, looking for that information as well, because uh, we're going to look at how to do that. Because, for example, let's go over to our list here and then let's let's actually uh, do a little editing. We'll add these tags in here and then we're going to download this. And then now we're going to try, whoop, not that. We're going to try using this upload again for this new file. And you might think, okay, I've got it mapped out here. This should uh, this should work out. Oh yeah. And I'm just showing this off just to see the example. Uh, you'll get an error that you've already you can't modify data that way. You have to do it through this modify function. But in order to do it through the modify function, there's something else now that you have to do. And that is to, we're going to get the create a date here. And let's see, we're starting with Danielle and ending with Lucena. So we want to get our database to maybe we can't. Okay. doesn't seem like we can filter like that so we'll just have to so from Danielle to Lucena we have to grab these unique IDs and you'll want to add a field for for that so unique IDs and let's see uh, it's backwards Danielle at the top Lucena at the bottom Lucena at the top Danielle at the bottom 
So we're just going to have to fudge this a little to get the setup that we would want and need. Now you should be able to uh, perhaps find a different way to sort these or prior to upload, maybe a good suggestion would be if you are starting data for the first time, go ahead and uh, do a filter and sort A to Z on email so that then later on you can sort Z to A and you basically have control over the order of things for easy uh, back and forth use from your Excel to your database. So there's a hot tip there. So now let's see how about how we can go and modify this. So we've got this and then one thing I'm going to show off here is to concatenate. We're going to concatenate these items. And this is how you do a list. And you know what? Actually, prior to doing this, yeah, sure, why not? We'll get all of this up in one, in one go. Okay, so this is not going to be it because we actually need something special in between, which is this. And it's kind of goofy because we're putting this into here. And then here we want this here. Okay, so we can see that we've got this. And Bubble will accept it with spaces as well as commas. So let's go ahead and download this one now. And we're going to now click Modify. So we'll select a new file. And we'll pick our latest one here. And you know what? The unique ID is really the only thing that has to be there. Uh, like the rest of this and the... Don't want to, let's see, we want, no, 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 no. Everything else is, we'll go with the email as well. Okay, so we've imported this one. And then let's, get, we'll get a refresh on here and we'll see our interest tag three and our interest tag list update. So there we go, there we have it. So that's how you modify data in your database. And uh, next up, we're going to take a look at the cars area. So for cars, we're just what we're going to do is we're just going to build a new C CSV. I'm going to back out of this some. And let's see. I think we said model. Uh, make. Or maybe year. and color. Color model year. Okay, so we're gonna say is that a model? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, let's see, what's a Nothing, nothing too fancy here, folks, for cars. Uh, what's, a, what's a fancy car? Is a Lamborghini a model or a make? I don't know how to spell that, so I'm going to go... I think I know how to spell Porsche. 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 <laughs> uh, oh, this one's brand new. And I'm going to give me a hot black one. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to download this car list and what we're, what we're showing off here and the reason why we're doing this again is so that nope not user is so that you can see how to associate data types with each other uh, through this this kind of back end yep ignore this call because we are uploading from scratch and so basically, let's pretend, let's decide who, who gets what car. We only have three cars. Some of our users uh, will not have cars. Oh, you know what? We had, uh, we had some stuff with blank data. So actually, uh, it, it somehow read that there was more data there than what there is. So what we're going to do is, let's delete those out. 
Okay, cool. So uh, one thing we want to show here then is this unique ID. And the way that it's going to work is that this user for this car field, I'm just going to go ahead and back out of this one so we get back to where we were. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, check this out. So here we go. We're going to say car. And a lot of times you actually want to just work with the only, uh, you only want to work in your CSV with the fields you're modifying when you're modifying things. So, uh, who gets the cars? Looks like Lucena, Matias, and Rosa are going to get the cars. Just kidding. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so what cars are they going to get? The way to do that is to go over and grab the unique IDs of these and paste those in here. So the car has its own unique ID as well as the user itself. And so this is kind of how these things get tied to, tied to each other. So we, what we want to do is we want to upload, just want to check our car email, car, unique ID. And then we're going to click modify. Nope, and we want to make sure that, not on car, that we're on user. And I don't think we exported that. So this is user with car. Right, so uh, like I explained, having these tied to each other, so this car is going to be this field to match unique ID. This is the important part and this is what kind of makes the magic go. So we'll validate this data. Uh, the way that this, what this checkbox means is that, think about it this way, is that we don't have any uh, extra columns here, but if we had an extra column here for uh, interest tag one, and if we had some blank fields here, it would take these blank fields. And for Rosa, Matias, Lucena, you know what? We can actually see that. We'll see that in action. So we'll see these ones get overwritten for them with this blank. But basically, I like to do that because, and here's why. If you check this, then you know that everything and every cell that's existing on your CSV is going to be transferred cell by cell over to here. It's not going to be, there's not going to be any wishy-washy of like, wait, is it this or is it that? If you check it, What's here gets exactly put over there. So um, let me just make sure that I actually pick this one. So car, field to match, unique ID, validate data, modify data. And then what we'll see happen is we'll see those cars updated so that those two data types are tied to each other. And then if we go and we use some kind of search function to get uh, like we wanted to see the co what color car does, like what color car does Lucena have? Because Lucena has this 4340 car, which is, is a, do we have the, yes, 4340. So, so Lucena has this Camry and a red one. And in our search function, we could say, find the user, or if Lucena is the current user, the current user's car color. And we could get data through that way because these are tied to it. And then we'll also notice that these, uh, these interest tags were overwritten using that uh, selection box. So for anyone out there who is wondering how to manipulate data in your back end of your bubble database using CSVs, that's a basic tutorial on how you do it. Let me know in the comments, is there any questions that you have about uh, doing any other uh, types of operations here in the database with CSVs? I'd be happy to uh, answer and see if we can uh, get you some additional knowledge. Have a great day.